Hello guys and welcome to another video of Oliver Marion Gaming. Here I'm gonna bring you to some uh, hardline gameplay and do some commentary along the way as well. Uh, right here you'll see me starting the round getting in the car. Now um I wanna give you guys my thoughts about the game. Uh, I think the game is actually not bad, you know. But uh, it's basically like um I don't think it's like a battlefield risk game. It just has um, a couple of different mechanics like the cars and about how cars are gonna see me get um I think I get a double rod kill right here. Yep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um that's actually one of the most fun things that I like about the game. I mean the car handling is actually way better than than BF4, that's that's for sure. And I see I come all the way up here and I <laughs> tried to run kill my teammate, I thought he was an uh, enemy. Well, anyways, um, the current handling is actually like uh, way better, way better than, than BF4. Um, I forgot to mention the game mode that I'm playing right now here is Haste, where um, and I think I get an RPG killer right here, yep, ah, boom. <laughs> Alright, so um, the idea is... Um, the rovers, they have to go ahead and activate some charges, like the same thing in brush with the end comes. But after the charge blows up, they have to capture the package and take it to some extraction points as you can see here. So uh, what many people don't realize is that when they get to the, when the rovers get the package, right, instead of chasing it, actually it's a little bit more effective to just go ahead and camp a little bit uh, the exit points as where you get the, the highest chance of stopping them. Now, let me tell you a little bit what I really don't like about the game. Um, I think the game is going to have a future. Um, it kind of plays well for being a bit, actually. And I get another RPG kill yet. Yeah. I just nailed down the the carrier of, uh, of the package, which is actually money. And as you can see, it pays off to camp that extraction point. <laughs> Alright, well, um, the thing that I don't like about the game is um, actually it's not related to the game, but more related to um, the way EA is handling things here. Um, you know, BF4 is still not completely, it's, it has improved a lot, but it's actually not quite, quite fixed yet, and then they use, um, they, what do they say, oh, let's go ahead and just make a new game, like, <laughs> I think it's kind of um, um, offensive, uh, the way they're treating us, like, you know, instead of, oh, no, we're gonna fix the game, or just, oh, we have this new game right here, and um, you're gonna see me here, like, just waiting for the rovers uh, one more time here. Okay, so the vehicle that I'm in right now is called the command truck. Um, it has a one-line machine gun to the side, uh, to the right, and to the left, and you can use them accordingly. And it also uh, works out as a, a spam point. And um, I'm gonna get down here and just nail that car right there. And actually, that was the carry of the package, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so you get some extra point for that. And then I go back here and go back to my machine gun. That uh, truck that I'm in right now is actually pretty tough. You can really take some punch man, from RPGs, etc. So uh, it's like a, it's, it's an armor truck that's actually quite effective. And the way that I parked it there, I, I haven't seen many people do that. Like you know, basically guarding the exit point, so that way the rovers cannot take uh, the package away. Now, how about I'll talk a little bit about the so. Oof, uh, RPG kill, like, I'm playing with RPG. <laughs> Alright, and they take down the carrier here. Now, um, I see that um, EA um, mentioning a lot about, uh, hey, let's go ahead and, and pre order the game, right? Like, I mean, that's something that I just, like, uh, <laughs> I mean, hell no, you know, like, after what happened to be a 4 like, pre in this game, like, no way in the world. Plus, I mean, me, honestly, like, I'm not really convinced that this game is gonna be at the height of uh, the battlefield. I mean, don't get me wrong, game so far is fun, but it's, like, a battlefield, just infantry focus. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's like a battlefield downgrade. Like, th that's the way I feel about the game. I'm not saying it's not fun. It's fun. And with that said, if it's uh, if it comes to be like a um, a battlefield with like less um, I mean less features, like does it actually worth sixty bucks? I think I'm gonna take down here an RPG shot. That's a bike and boom. That's funny. Like <laughs> I killed the car, but the 
uh, by God kept on going on. So, anyways, so as I was saying, uh, does it really work to pay like 60 bucks for a battlefield that doesn't have all the features of battlefield? And on top of that, I'm pretty sure they're gonna come out with a premium. Like, I don't know. I, I still don't convince. I'm. I, I. I feel many people will share my opinion and about pre-ordering. Like, oh my god. I mean. <laughs> With that history of BF4, I doubt that many people are going to be pre-ordering this game now. Oh, as you can see here, I get taken down um, due to the horrible any downsize accuracy of that gun that I was using currently. Probably has a good hip fire, so it's balanced. No complaints about that. Alright, so here I'm going to go back to my uh, command truck, which as I mentioned before, it serves as a spam point as well. Now I see this guy coming down here, uh, now check this out, I shoot an RPG to this guy's face and I still trade with that guy. And uh, he gets revived by using the revival of this um, perk, which is something that is like a the assault class and this game has the ability to revive itself. I don't know if they're gonna keep that, but I think it's extremely overpowered. And uh, well, that's your typical um, body spam in Battle 3. I spam in the command truck, but an RPG took it down so I got instantly taken out by it. Now, um, before we continue here, huh? let me show you this, um, I attempt to right kill this guy and as you can see I just pass by like, through him, <laughs> but that's not all, here comes another one, look, look, right through the guy's freaking body, like what in the world, oh well you know that's only in battlefield, <laughs> well I go here upstairs because I see some uh, Doritos on the minimap, and I think I'm gonna knife this guy. By the way, knife in these games are pretty brutal, that's something that I like. And I uh, spray and pray right here. And uh, yeah, net code plus um, luck, I guess. Uh, as I get taken down behind the corner. Dun -dun. <laughs> Only in Battlefield you get taken down behind the corner, guys. <laughs> Let's not forget about that. Alright, so uh, I think I'm gonna get here my mobile command truck and try to take it, but I think the run pretty much ends right here. So yeah, the run pretty much ends, so I don't know, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys what I think about the game. Uh, right now, if you guys wanna keep watching the video, I'm gonna bring you some fails, random fails that I experienced during my uh, gameplay sessions here. And uh, well, enjoy here. Now you're gonna see here how we blow up the safe and we get the package and now check this out check this out this guy just ran away right when he's supposed to be helping our teammates to get the package to extraction point it, that's that's one of the things that i think why this game um it's gonna be fun but not as successful as it should be because it requires so much teamwork you need more teamwork on this game than in battlefield and that's that's gonna be a problem because uh, teamwork is not something that usually people do you know, <laughs> people like to play by, by themselves, etc. And if you don't have 100% teamwork here, you're gonna lose. And you only have like one or two bad teammates, and those teammates get in the cars, and you are a screw. That's it. As I spray and pray on this guy here, and yeah, well, I took it down. So, well, as I was saying, you require it requires a lot of teamwork. Like one, one bad teammate gets in the vehicles, and that's it. You lost. At least on BF4. You can have uh, four or five bad teammates and you can still manage to win the rounds. But in this game, forget it. Everyone needs to be on point. If not, that's it. It's game over. Alright, so I try to go up the elevator here. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm saying this game would be a fail because I was talking about the. Oops! <laughs> Shotgun to the chest right here. Yeah, I mean, I was saying that the game is will be a fail because, as I said, it requires way too much teamwork, which is not a bad thing. But that's something that you won't encounter every day unless you go there with your clam or some friends, you know? Other than that, I think it won't be teamwork. Alright, you guys uh, keep going here on the video. See if I have like another fail. Uh, yeah, check this out right here. Freaking spray. I was, it wasn't a spray, but I was aiming downside. And I don't know how in the world I wasn't able to take down those guys, but you know, only in battlefield again. <laughs> And uh, right here, I think, uh, yeah, I'm trying to spam nearby my teammate to help him out, and I get another lucky spam, RPG to the face. Yep. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's smart of him. And right here, look, ch check this gunplay. Okay, I take down the guy. I know I have 27 health. Okay, that's fine. Nate, I nade back. RPG and wait a minute. And watch as I RPG in the freaking face of that guy. And he still. I didn't see any hit marker, right? So I just hit fire, boom, boom, I kill him. Notice that he threw an A behind me, right? So I kept walking forward, jump out, but no. Battlefield decides, I mean, no battlefield, hardline decides that I have to do that anyway, so I die for that A, but <laughs> only in battlefield. Now right here I check this uh, RPG gunplay, okay, RPG one guy, boom, perfect, he died, alright, no problems now, check this out, load my safe on RPG, I shot and freaking blew up in my face, right, like, what in the world, now, here we go again, shoot and, like, check this out, just like, blew up in my face, like, <laughs> what in the world is going on here, <laughs> well, that's one of the few bugs that I had found out in, uh, Hardline, oh, that's to be expected because it's a bait, you know. So, it is what it is. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and if you can leave a like and a comment below, that'll be great, okay? Catch you in the next one.